we go. Literally just turned 6 a.m. on the dot. We're on the move. We already packed up the car. We're getting everything ready. Just topped, topped off Snacks' his coffee cup. So he's gonna be just charging this morning. Forecast is eight to 12 um, offshore wind. So I don't know what to expect. Don't know how true the forecast is gonna be, but it's big and it's offshore. That's all we know. So we're gonna start looking for some spots and uh, hopefully we find gold. And it's really dark out here. And guys, I know a bunch of people have been asking about the swell because the waves that we are surfing down south were a little bit smaller than anticipated. But that was not the peak of the swell. Today and tomorrow is like the peak of the swell in size. That was kind of just the swell building up and we are looking for something clean. But today we have big clean waves and uh, we are so stoked. I don't know what these guys are doing back here. <laughs> oh! <laughs> All right, guys, it's about one third the size of what was forecasted for this morning. So, uh, I mean, I'm not super in tune with the Florida forecast. So it could literally be the fact that it's a lower tide right now and the tide needs to come up. It could be a lot of things, but uh, we're going to keep looking around and hopefully we find something soon. It's getting light out. We're here, so we're going to find some waves. Hope you guys are stoked. Put eight million dollars on the Tom's. What's up? Yes. What's the D claiming, dude? You gotta tell us. Dunes. <laughs> How was it out there? I said it for a while. How's the water? Well. The this warm. left was good. Give us a rundown of the of the conditions, Tubbs. The people at home need to know. Epic for Melbourne Beach. <laughs> for the rest of the world, not epic. What, what we got on the situation this morning is we got a large D in the dunes. <laughs> we got a slight southeast wind coming from the north. What? Look at the right. Holy oh, sh**. Man. That right They're definitely out there for oh, sure, dude. Oh, oh my oh, god, man. Got us some gnarly ones. All right, I'm walking back up to the car to get my board. Definitely some overhead conditions. I don't know, about 10 to 12, but there's some waves and uh, a couple barrels, maybe some makeable, so I'm out there. Let's uh, let's go have some fun for the dream. Oh my God. They're all looking back. <laughs> <laughs> that was such a nutty one. All right, boys. That's the board killer right there. The board yeah, killer. Eddie, are you charging that? Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I love it. Perfect. So my quad, I have another board now with my first ah. My I got my quad. Now.
right, we just got out of the, the regular ocean session and I'm walking over here to the inlet to see if there's anything breaking. And it kind of looks like there is, so I might be stoked in a second here. As you can tell, after that last wave, I am running. <laughs> oh my God, I'm tripping.
you're the guy right now. Oh no, here it goes again. I'm on the vlog. <laughs> what up, Nub Nation? <laughs> yeah, dude. Dukes. What's up, boss? Hey, not much. Good waves here today, Sebastian Inlet. Check it out. Watch Ben surfing inside the jetty. That's the spot. All right, guys, we're going. Clark Little out here, getting the shot. Claiming for the vlog, dude. Shoot, bro, it's firing out there. Epic. Left Get in barrels. the water. Get some nukes in your life, bro. That's it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah boy. Yeah, boy. Savage. <laughs> this is the very first testing of the Wave Bandit Boogie. The shock wave. <laughs> he didn't plan on surfing today, but. Did not. But I got the hookups, so now I have to. <laughs> So, what do you think about this tip? Another one? No, what? Yo voy a cantar esta canción, yo voy a cantar esta canción para mi gente. Yeah, what's that? Ben Brady can't surf. Don't tell him I said it. <laughs> I heard that, that's facts. I missed the f barrel.